We begin building by taking our bottom assembly that we made earlier. And you'll notice this is the front of our quadcopter where we have the opening for the camera. And this is the tail, the square end of the quadcopter. We're going to take our power distribution board and just pop it right on the exposed threads of those bolts. It should go right on down. I want you to pay very careful attention to this. The battery pads are facing the back of the quadcopter. Very, very important because we're going to take our pigtail and that's going out the back. So we need to orient it that properly. To make sure our power distribution board is secured and doesn't shift while we're doing our tinning and soldering, we're going to take our standoff and we're going to put it on ESC3 and just put it down finger tight. This will keep it from moving while we do our work. We're going to begin tinning our board starting with the battery connector. So take your soldering iron and give it a little wipe to make sure it's clean on the pad. You see how nice and shiny that is now. We're going to just tap it to the pad and start to heat it up so the fl solder flows and goes on the pad. Just put it around a little and that's that. We're going to continue in a clockwise fashion. Start right there. Boom. <clears throat> We're going to go around the power distribution board and just pre-tin all these pads so that everything adheres, adheres well. Please notice how long I am applying the heat. I don't want to linger too long and damage the pad. So only like about a second or so is all it takes to get that solder to flow on the pad. We're going to be using just about every pad we have, so we might as well just tin it just to keep things safe. Now I've stopped here for a reason because we're about to apply solder to ESC3, and I don't want to accidentally melt this standoff. So this is the point that we're going to simply just remove this and place it over here on ESC1 because we've already tinned that and we're done. Now this is a free and clear to apply our solder. So let's just continue now, just soldering around our power distribution board. Be careful you don't accidentally touch anything other than the pads because you can melt it if you're not paying attention to what you're doing. It only takes a moment to get that solder to flow. If you think you don't have enough, it's okay to go back and just apply a little more. Just don't spend too much time. You just want to get the solder on there. And now it is. Perfect. All the pads have been pre-tinned and we're ready to go on to the next step.